Welcome to the Tank Academy. I'm Ikibu and today I will be your tank instructor. With its powerful gun and heavy armour, the KB-1 is perfect for learning how to play heavies. Even better, it lets you research all the Soviet heavy tanks, some of the best lines for newer players. For the equipment, you cannot go wrong with a vent and a rammer. We recommend you get those first. For the third slot, we suggest either a gun laying drive to help with accuracy, or a toolbox for a safer defensive option. If you're new to the game and you don't want to spend too many credits on equipment, you can go with a camo net, binocular telescope and a toolbox. It's far from optimal, but it's better than nothing and it's more cost efficient because you can freely re-equip these items to other vehicles at any time. A standard setup of a repair kit, first aid kit and a fire extinguisher will help you get out of trouble if needed. Large versions of these consumables are better, but keep in mind they are also more expensive. So if you are a newer player, you might prefer to save some credits and spend it on things like new vehicles. You've got several different gun options on the KV-1, but two of them really stand out. There is a reliable 85mm with good pen and high DPM, on the other hand, if you're feeling adventurous, there's a 122mm option. It comes with HES standard, so it has amazing high shot damage potential, leading to some epic moments of one shot kills. But this isn't guaranteed. You can also have some disappointing damage if you don't penetrate. When you start a battle, you should always keep in mind your strengths and your weaknesses. Russian heavy tanks are not exactly famous for their great accuracy. And the KV-1 is no exception. So don't be afraid to get close to your enemy. Your armor will help you survive those short range engagements. Fortunately, all this protection comes at the cost of your maneuverability. Once you commit to a flank, it is difficult to relocate if you're overrun or you need support from your team. So choose wisely. Finally, because your view range isn't that great, you rely heavily on your teammates to be your eyes. City maps usually suit heavy tank playstyle. They allow you to get the best out of your armor. Especially if you are top tier, you can take a corner and then hold the enemy from advancing. The best way to fight from a corner is to poke out at a 33 degree angle and then go back to cover after your shot. Open maps pose more of a challenge, because artillery and sniping tank destroyers become a major threat. On these maps, make sure you can receive backup from your teammates and don't go into a position where you can get caught in a crossfire. In tier 6 or 7 battles, you need to pick your fights more carefully. Focus on supporting your teammates with flanking maneuvers and tracking shots to help take down those higher tier threats. The KV-1 is popular for a good reason. Many players start their heavy tank career with this baby and it still holds a special place in their heart. Was this guide helpful? How do you play your KV-1? Subscribe for more guides and for all official World of Tanks news and I will see you on the battlefield.